everyone, it's Megan here from Megan Makes Do and today I'm going to show you how to make the knit waffle stitch. It's a super easy beginner friendly stitch and I use it in my brand new Parker Throw knitting pattern. Um, so you can see here the waffle stitch makes like little boxes, kind of mimics the look of waffles. It's super easy, it's a four row repeat and it takes no time at all to learn. So let's go ahead and get started. For today's tutorial, I'm using Lime Brand's Pound of Love in the color Umber. I'm just using some leftover that I had from my Parker Throw. I absolutely love this yarn. It's a great, just general, basic worsted weight yarn. I'm also using a set of circular knitting needles. I'm using US size 10 and a half, which is a six and a half millimeter needle. You can definitely use straight needles for this as well. I just prefer to use circulars. Okay, so then to start, the waffle stitch use, uses a multiple of three plus one. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to cast on using the long tail cast on, and I'm gonna cast on 19 stitches. So we have 18 stitches, that's the multiple of three plus one stitch, so that way our beginning and ending stitches will always be the same. So go ahead and use whatever cast on method you prefer and cast on 19 stitches to your needles. Okay, so I've got my 19 stitches cast on and for row one, you're going to knit the first stitch. Let me get my yarn here. So go ahead and knit your first stitch and then we're going to do a three stitch repeat. So we're going to purl two, there's one purl and two purls, and then we're going to knit one. And we're going to repeat those three stitches all the way across. So again, we're going to purl two, and then we're going to knit one. And we're just gonna keep doing that all the way across until we get to the end, and we'll end with a knit stitch. Okay, so I knit my last stitch of row one, and now I'm going to turn my work. And this time we are going to do basically the opposite of what we did for row one. So for row two, we are going to purl the first stitch, And then again, we're gonna do a three stitch repeat. We're going to knit two and then purl one. And then we're just gonna repeat those three stitches all the way across. So again, knit two, purl one. And this should be fairly easy to see. You'll be knitting into the knits and purling into the purls and repeat that all the way across, ending with a purl stitch. Okay, so here's our last purl stitch of row two, and then we're going to turn our work, and you can kind of start to see the little boxes forming here um, that creates our waffle stitch. So let's go on to row three. This is a super easy one. We are just going to knit all stitches. So knit all the way across for row three. All right, we're at the end of row three. We've knit all of our stitches and we're going to turn. And now for row four, super easy again, we are going to purl all stitches across. Okay, so here we are at the end of row four, 
And when we turn, again, this is the right side. So anytime that you're working an odd row, that's the right side of your work. And you can kind of see the little waffle squares forming on here. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna repeat those four rows over and over again to create your waffle stitch. So you can go ahead and practice repeating those four rows. I'm gonna do a couple more rows and show you what it will look like. Here I've done about four repeats here of the waffle stitch and you can really start to see the texture coming through. Um, and you can see these little squares that look like little holes of a waffle. Um, you'll also notice that this um, knit stitch here will always be knit so you can kind of easily keep track and see if you've made an error um, by always looking for those vertical lines of knit stitches. This is the back of the sample. Um, again, it has beautiful texture on the back as well, um, but the front is really where it pops and that is the waffle stitch. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you wanna go ahead and make a project using this stitch, you can check out my Parker Throw free knitting pattern on my blog.